Hello, welcome back to Vine Leaf Studio. Today I'm going to make a, a Damascus steel ring, a gents ring, 8mm thick, and it's going to have two uh, inlays in of silver, but I'm going to oxidise the silver to make them stand out. So today we'll be etching and oxidising, and uh, I've already made a, a ladies ring to go with it. Got to, make a pair so I'll show you that with it at the end so let's get going okay so we've got our blank set up in the chuck uh, and we'll start boring it and Okay, we're going to um, put a radius on here now using the, the hand grinder. So, there we go. Give it a bit of a polish and then turn it round and do the other side. Okay, so we're not going to over polish it this time because it's being etched. Um, it actually, the etch takes better if the finish isn't too fine. So we'll take this out and we'll get mounted on a mandrel and start turning the outside. 
Okay, so we're set up the mandrel ready to go and uh, we'll start turning turn this down, take it down to about uh, 23 millimetres I think. So off we go. So let's see how tough it is turning on the outside. <laughs> Lovely, right, so I'm going to set up now with a little um, grooving tool and we're going to put two little slots in there to take the, um, the wire. Okay, so I'm, I'm all set up. Um, I want this slot to start one and a half millimetres in, so I've touched on with the side of the tool, like so, zero and as the tool's a millimetre wide, I've moved across two and a half millimetres. Uh, and I want to go 0.8 millimetres deep. Slot to be one and a half millimeters wide, so we're going to move along half a millimeter and drop in again. So that's one slot done. We'll just check my width if I can find where it is. My burn here. Yep, that's fine. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to do one from the other side. So, I'll do the same again. Move against the side of the, two, the pole. Like so, set my zero. Zero and come along 2.5 millimeters slightly too far and there we go <laughs> So what I want to do now is put a radius on these two outer corners and um, then we'll start putting the, the inlays in. 
Okay, so I've got the tool set up. I'm going to come in, put the radius on that side, then I'm going to have to take the, the ring off the mandrel, turn it round to do the other side. There we go. Yep, they look nice and even, so we'll just give it a bit of a polish with some memory. Right, so the next stage we're going to be putting our inlays in. So I'll show you what the process is doing, doing at that stage. Okay, so what we're going to do with these inlays, we have our two slots machined in and they're 0.8 mm that way and 1.5 millimeters this way the wires um one and a half millimeters diameter so by tapping it on the top the, the silver is very soft it's it's a nailed wire um if you haven't got a nailed wire then it, you basically you just heat it up to just red and then let it cool um so what we do, we beat it in and it'll move right to these corners and be tight into these slots. Um, it will stand a little proud um, when you've done it. Um, and that gives you something to polish off. I'll be soldering the joints and that'll keep it permanent. But you can also use a little hand grinder or a, a little dovetail tool if you've got one small enough to to take the corners out like that. And then if it moves that way, it can't. It physically can't come out. But I, I like to solder it. It gets a nice neat join. So let's crack on and do that. Okay. So what we've got, we've got this. One and a half millimeter diameter silver wire. Uh, it's it's soft, so it doesn't need a kneeling. And what I'm going to do is just start tapping it. And we're we're beating it into the slot, and it's spreading and getting a good grip. Okay, so we're right round, so I need to cut this off and um, beat the end in. Um, we can do that in the vise, where I'll have more room to work. So 
So, I'll see you over there. Right, so I've got to see where the wire needs cutting, and it's out there. I need to lift this slightly in that Right, give myself a bit more room. And it's just where the overlap is. fold straight in and we'll take it over the block and tuck that end into the slot left that slightly too long so I just need to cut off the excess and I'll be back okay so I've put some um, solder paste where the joins are and I've got a small torch and we're just gonna heat that up so it flows Got it lovely so we'll cool this off put back on the mandrel and we'll do the other side right so here we go again Right, we're all the way around again. Um, I'll take it over to the vice. I won't um, take the camera over with me this time. Um, I'll uh, get that end tucked in, I'll get soldered up, and then um, we'll come back to the lathe and polish it. So, I'll see you in a few moments. Okay, so we've got both in layers in and soldered. So, now we need to um, polish everything flush. And then we'll um, be ready for etching. So here we go.
And there we go. Two lovely, nice, neat inlays. So, um, next step will be to get in the, to the edge. So, I shall see you over there. Okay, so here we are again. If you've watched my other videos, you know the, the score. We've got pickle etching compound, which is um, ferric chloride, and uh, this is uh, bisodol, bicarbonate of soda. It's uh, in water. So, uh, we'll go on the pickle first of all. Just get any grease fingerprint. Greasy fingerprints, whatever, off there. Take the lid off here, ready. And pop that in there, and we'll leave that for 20 minutes, give it a look, and see where, where we are. Usually, I, I like to do uh, a second etch um, so we'll see ok so we're ready to take this out now ah that looks that looks pretty good nice and deep don't know if you can see that uh, Close that up. Okay. Don't know yet. That looks perfect. So what I've got to do now is give it a quick polish and then we'll put it into the uh, liver of sulphur. So I'll just go off and polish it. Okay, so we're ready for the um, oxidising. I told you I'd made a, a lady's ring, so that's Got single band, that's six mil wide compared to the the eight mil wide we've got over here. Right, so first of all I'm gonna drop them both into the pickle and uh, and then we're gonna come over here. So this is um liver of sulfur, it's foul stuff. Smells like rotten eggs. So, I'll squeeze some of that into there. Have half a teaspoon. And then we put some hot water in. I think I'll put the lid on and um, does that fit? Yeah. put the lid on and give it a good shake. Okay. Oh yes, that smells delicious. Right. So take the first ring out and that's the gents ring. And put it in here. Just Give it a swirl. 
out and it works out quickly you can see it's got a bluey black sheen we'll just give it another little swirl and that looks perfect that in there. That's the um, bicarbonate soda, and we put this one in. doesn't want to come out and there we go ah. shade longer On there. There's only so much rotten eggs you can take. Right. And right. Out. See how that's darkened up. I think I could use another go. So we'll go through the process again. Um, see what the other one's like. And that's looking lovely. Give it a bit more of a clean up. But, um, I think that one's good to go. So there we go. Um, I'll give that one another. But actually, it's Looks a bit dark and out, perhaps just the light in here. Um, so there we go. Men's and the ladies ring. Um, I'll put a photo up at the, at the end. And um, a little video. And that's it. Um, I'll do a little round up when we're finished. Right, um, thanks for sticking with me. I've uh, got the rings here, I'm pleased with them. Where are we at? There we go. Uh, I'll put a better picture up at the end. Um, they'll be going straight in the Etsy shop because I'm pleased with them. Uh, to be made to any size anybody would want. Uh, and to also do the same design with, with the gold inlay. I'll leave the silver white. Uh, anyway, 
yeah thanks for sticking with me uh, if you like the video hit the like button for us uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and I'll answer any comments people care to leave um, apart from the blue ones uh, thanks again and I'll see you soon bye bye